Have you ever hated someone so much that the only thing you want to do is to put them through misery and pain? If so, you have come to the right place. This curse was used on Japanese spies that went rogue in the ages of the samurai and is still used by secret organizations today as a form of unnoticeable torture. The target will be plagued by misfortune, which could range from minor injuries all the way to deadly situations from which the subject cannot escape. This was also used by the Native Americans after the technique was discovered in the late 1800s. It is important not to speak about what you have done to anyone, otherwise the curse will have the opposite effect. This happens for reasons unknown, since its creation was originally used for wooden keys of that era, but was modified by the aforementioned secret organizations in the late 1900s to affect metal keys. To begin, you will need one of the subject's keys. You must make sure that it is not an important key, since important keys are easily missed by owners. You might have a hard time even getting close to your victim's key ring, but after you acquire this, you will need the following. Number one. Ash of a burnt down tree, log, or stick to capture a spirit. Number two, a silver container to make sure that the spirit does not escape while it is captured. Number three, a knife or sharp object to anger the spirit by stabbing it while captured. Number four, rice to make sure that the spirit can become more powerful and do more harm. Number five, a pen and a piece of paper to make sure that the spirit hits the right target. Number six, salt as a precaution to pour around the silver container. So if the spirit escapes both the ash and the silver container, this will provide you with enough time to complete the ritual if the spirit is a very strong one. Number seven, water to lay the container in, maybe inside a sink or somewhere else, just as long as you can retrieve it again in a short amount of time. If you have the above mentioned, then follow the steps to begin the ritual. First, pour the ash into your silver container and begin to pour the salt around the container. These are your three titanium walls, blocking the spirit trying to attack you. Now, place the key inside the ash, slowly. While doing this, chant, I've got a treat for you, 15 times. After five minutes, take your knife or sharp object and stab the ash, which is now the spirit's body, eight times. This will anger the spirit and make it stronger. Now, pour the rice into the silver container. This will cause the curse effects to become stronger. After pouring in the rice, the spirit will now be back inside the container, if for whatever reason it escaped both the ash and the container. After this is done, write your target's name on the piece of paper and drop it into the silver container. The ritual is now almost complete. Go to your water source and let the container soak for 30 minutes so you can give the spirit time to make the key its home. After 30 minutes, you should take the key out of the container slowly, 
and return it to where you found it. Warning. If the target dies, the spirit will come after you. So cover all openings of your house with salt. Otherwise, you might see that same key appear in your house. And you will die.